Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. It is the nutcase, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network. Pisces, mm, mm, mm. I don't know what's going on, Pisces. There's some major things going on in your life, okay? And there are some major delays that people are trying to place over your life. I'm just saying, because, okay, let's get the preliminaries out of the way first, okay? Be sure to check out your Pisces playlist for any other titles that may interest you. Personal reading information is below. Thank you so much if you're already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I thank you for your continued support. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and everybody turn on post notifications and like the video. All right, so now that we got those preliminaries out of the way, okay, maybe you're having to set some guidelines or ground rules or set preliminary boundaries for somebody. But um, yeah, I feel like you're setting boundaries in, in a connection or it's like you're communicating your boundaries to people. I feel like you're going to be doing that all of July. Um, but for those of you who are already subscribed to my channel and pay attention to the community tab, which is a necessity to me, I definitely would pay attention to that. And I would pay attention to the playlist tab. But for those of you who paid attention to the community board, um, I posted last week that, you know, y'all's reading when I was filming everybody else's reading, y'all's reading kept getting cut off. It literally got cut off three different times. And then... I have been so busy, like I have been so busy, unnecessarily busy that I have not been able to film your video until tonight, which you're going to see this video on Friday, which is Friday, June 24th. That's when you're going to see this video, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, I'm filming it on the night of the 23rd and I filmed all those other videos last week. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on um, with with Pisces? What What is going on in the energy? And it was just a situation where I felt that, you know, a lot of people um, have been really trying to kind of stall you. I keep getting the energy of a car like stalling or... I keep getting the visualization of a car stalling or like jump starting a car, you know? So it's kind of like, I know you're tired, Pisces. I know you're tired of the stalls. I know you're tired of the delays. But what I want you to realize is how far you've come and look back and see how many of those obstacles and delays and challenges that you have overcome in the last six months. And I promise you, you're going to feel a whole lot better about yourself. Now, the channel messages that I got, which I shared, I think, majority of them with you guys on the community board last week. Basically, from those readings getting cut off, these are the things that kind of came to me in terms of messages. So I wrote, you're at the finish line, almost at the end, done. God is slowing you down so that you can recall what you've been through and how far you've come. You're meant to use this time to reflect because you're about to embark on a new journey. Also, you're meant to use this time to rest. That's just in. Everything in your life is about to change and people don't like it at all. Capital. Okay. Some People or someone or some people are determined to stop you, but you're determined to get something done. Weird things keep breaking or breaking down. They want you to be discouraged, whoever they is, but you've gotten too strong for them. You've outshined them and you're overpowering their energy after they continue to hold you back for many years. Not only you, but if you have children, they are under attack too. So protect yourself. That is not for you to be scared. That is not for you to be intimidated. That is for you to understand the gravity of this situation and to understand your 
job, what you have to do at this moment. And what you have to do at this moment, Pisces, is to push the fuck through. You have to continue to push through. 505 was just on a timer and I looked up. So I feel like you guys have to basically train yourselves, train your mind, um, you know, and prepare yourself for whatever battles may wage ahead of you. But for the most part, for most of you, I feel like a majority of the fighting is over with. I feel like the change that is coming um, in association to those fives is more so a change within yourself, okay? Believing in yourself more, feeling more confident in yourself, and feeling as if you can accomplish any goal that you set out to accomplish, anything that you put your mind to. I feel like that's the change that's going on within you, and that's what you need to keep focused on. So what we're going to do, since... June is over with, and I'm pretty sure intuitively from the energy that I'm picking up from you, Pisces, is that y'all are ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. So we're going to look at July for you. Nobody else has gotten this. Everybody else, it was like mid-June um, when I was, you know, pulling the energy for the readings. But for you, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and go straight into July because I feel like spirit is basically like pushing you forward but also wanting you to reflect. So let's see what's going on. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please show me my Pisces energy. What is my Pisces energy going to be for the month of July? How are they going to be feeling? See, somebody keeps wanting to hold you back because as I'm saying July, I'm thinking June. And it's like, Every time I do your readings recently, I feel like I've been, not just you, it's a few people, but a lot of times I've noticed in the Pisces readings that I tend to say the prior month or I tend to say a month in the past. It's like either you're stuck in the past and dwelling on a situation or somebody wants to keep you stuck in that past energy. It could be a combination of both, which is kind of what I feel but yeah, let's see, for July, for my Pisces brothers and sisters, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, what is their energy? Mm, what is their energy going to be for the month of July for my Pisces? Oh, yes, base chakra. Okay, so we're getting grounded in July. Pisces, I feel like you're also staying put. Y'all are going to be in the house. Maybe you should be in the house. I feel like I definitely got that in the channel message that it's time. What did I say? Um, yeah, I said God is slowing you down so that you can recall what you've been through and how far you've come. You're meant to use this time to reflect because you're about to embark on a new journey. So I definitely feel like one is a beginning. It's definitely indicative of a new beginning or the beginning of a new chapter. And I definitely feel like that's what's going on here with you, Pisces. Um, the base chakra card is definitely a card of becoming grounded, in my opinion. Um, I feel like I just heard Archangel Michael. So um, I just really feel that you guys are focusing on getting yourselves together mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally and balancing out your energy to become more evenly keeled. We have number six, material and spiritual prosperity at the bottom. So that's definitely an indication that you guys are gaining this balance. You have two fountains, balance. You, it's, two, it's even, the card is exactly even. There's nothing different on either side of this individual who's standing here. So I feel like you guys are definitely overseeing um, your need to find balance. It's like you guys are coming up with ways that you can balance out your life and get your equilibrium back on track. You're also figuring out ways or finding things that you can remove from your life that are not on track. That's definitely what I'm getting. I do want to read this base chakra card real quick for S. Okay, it says the color is red. The sound is LAM. The element is earth. The gland is the adrenal gland. And the key words, I have. 
So I feel like you're going to be thinking about in July what you have, the things that you are blessed with. Um, all the knowledge that you've gained as well, okay? It says, known as the base of root chakra, this energy center is situated at the base of the spine and is most closely related to all of your earthly issues such as survival, the physical body, issues of money, sustenance, safety, and shelter. To balance this chakra, practicing yoga can be extremely beneficial. Dancing or like physical exercise will also help keep the energy flowing and harmonious. Honoring your body and taking care of it on the outside will bring you well-being on the inside. It works both ways. So I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You guys are exercising. You guys are getting your money together. You could definitely be saving. Okay, I feel like you're eating healthier and you're taking care of your home. All of the things that you need to do to get balanced. One thing I, I know about Pisces, okay? One thing I know about Pisces is our house has to be comfortable. I do not care what you have in your house. I do not care what decorations you put up. But one thing about it, a lot of Pisces are very like simplistic from what I've seen in terms of like decoration. Um, we're very like simplistic. I feel like there are, we want it to be pretty and comfortable, but we also don't want it to be too cluttered, okay? which is kind of the opposite of how I'm living. So I feel like I got clutter everywhere, but I really don't, you know, <laughs> I think it's just my mind. But as Pisces, I feel like if our space is not right, our energy is not right. So I definitely see you guys doing a lot of spring cleaning as we have been doing, even though it's in the summer now. Um, but I feel like you're definitely keeping up with the spirit of cleanliness uh, I feel like you're definitely keeping up with the spirit of eating healthy, exercising, getting your body in shape, getting your mind in shape, because it's like preparation. I feel like the end of June, which is what we're in right now, going into the beginning of July is the time for major preparation for you, Pisces. Okay, so let's see what zodiac signs are possibly going to be around my Pisces in July. Oh, wow. North Node and Libra, Venus and Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. So we got North Node and Libra, first of all. Then we have, let me put it right there. Then we have Venus and Sagittarius. Okay. We also have Moon and Libra. Okay. A lot of Libra. North Node and Gemini. Oh, my God. And then we have Mars and Leo. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so we got a, a Libra out here that's out here. Leo, Gemini, and Sagittarius. Oh, Sun is Scorpio at the bottom. Who is this? Scorpio. Okay, Jupiter and Sagittarius. Scorpio, Sun. All right, now. So I'm really just going to freestyle your reading, Pisces. So let's just see what's going on in July. I really don't want to say June again. Y'all are really ready to get June out of the way. I feel like... Was June really hard for you guys? Like, was it really hard for real? Because June was a trying month for me as well. I definitely did not understand or foresee <laughs> that I was going to be as busy as I am right now at the beginning of the month. Like, I did not even cross my mind. May was really busy because my children's birthdays are in May, right? Two of them. But I was like, okay, once we get the birthdays out of the way, then I'm smooth sailing in June. But golly, it was so much shit going on. So much business that had to be handled right at the moment that it needed to be handled. And I was like, oh my God, blowing me, blowing my high. You know what I'm saying? Like figuratively speaking. But yes, definitely blowing me. So it, it, let me know if that's what you guys were feeling, okay? Because... It was, I felt bombarded, okay? But I feel as if it's also preparation. I also felt like this energy of preparation for something major. Like if there was a lot of things that you had to do or you felt like you couldn't get a handle on your thoughts, I feel like it was preparation or it's a part of your preparation for whatever this new journey is that you're about to embark on. So... What's going on with my Pisces in July, God? What's going on with my Pisces? Please show me. 
anxiety. Oh my God. Oh my God. What else is going on with my Pisces in July? So there's a bit of stress. There's a bit of anxiety. Okay. <laughs> we got bad habits. Okay. What else is going on with my Pisces? Hold on. I didn't like the way that slid. I feel like I... Okay. All right. Bad habits and anxiety. So y'all could definitely be smoking. We have fate here as well. I feel like a lot of you guys are realizing your fate. We have daughter. Okay. And then at the back, we have new direction and sad woman at the bottom. Wow. So if you are a feminine energy, okay, I feel like you could be a, a bit depressed in the month of July. I feel like you could be stressed out whether you're a male or a female, feminine or masculine energy. Um, I feel like Pisces, you're feeling stressed. There's something that's stressing you out, which is causing you to revert back to old bad habits. I feel like maybe this is an energy that you're coming out of from June because you're starting to realize your fate. I feel like you're stressed out because you're starting to realize your fate, like literally. You could be thinking about your parents in terms of this daughter card, or you could be, you know, thinking about your actual daughter. But I feel that you guys are a bit depressed, okay? Because you do have to go into a new direction. Maybe it's not depression. I don't want to say that. For some of you, it is. But I feel there's this energy of apprehension that I've been seeing. It's like you're kind of fighting your fate or you're kind of um, giving pushback when it comes to going in this new direction. Because I feel like you're dwelling on things or thinking about things that are going on or have gone on in the past. But this is like such a major breakthrough, Pisces, because I feel like you're at the precipice of like life-changing events your fate is about to unfold like right in front of you right in front of you and that's what i really feel like is stressing you out is because you can feel it you're very intuitive but it's like you can't see certain things so i feel like it causes you stress the unknown okay what shadow could my pisces be dealing with in july god please show me the shadow that they may be dealing with within themselves Okay, no, I'm going to let it. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's the one. Defensiveness. Okay, hear other people's perspectives and feelings. Shift your focus to them. It's not always about you. So Pisces, we got to make sure we're not being too defensive in the month of July. Um, I've just heard jumping the gun or jumping down somebody's throat. You need to be mindful of that. You need to be very mindful of that. In the month of July, because I feel like that's going to cause problems for you if you're like overly defensive. Um, I just heard like if you have like a court case coming up or if you have um, some type of hearing of some kind, it doesn't have to like be in the judicial system. It could be like something at your job or some type of determination or a hearing where somebody's going to decide your fate or the fate of someone close to you. I really feel like you need to keep your cool. I just heard keep your cool. So just, you know, cool as a cucumber. Maybe you need to eat some cucumbers or that's what you've been eating. Let's see. What's this anxiety card for my Pisces for July, please? Behind the scenes. So I feel like you're, ooh, I feel like you're stressed out behind the scenes. Yeah, and then we have guidance, but... I feel like you're being guided. It didn't guidance didn't come out, so I put it back, but behind the scenes did come out. Um, so if you're feeling stressed about anything, I feel like you're being guided in the right direction. So you need to trust that guidance. What is what is anxiety? So you're stressed out about something that happened either between October and February of 2020 to 2021, or you're stressed about A relationship or the relationships in your life yeah altercation submerged emotions and then leveling up is right here so i really feel like you're kind of fighting your growth here i feel like you're fighting your fate or you're fighting change somehow i feel like you're not addressing or dealing with a lot of the stress or emotions that you have bottled up within yourself pisces 
I feel like you definitely could be stressed about a relationship that's over or that has ended. Um, you could be stressed about legal situations because it keeps popping up in my mind. But I just feel like you're not dealing with the anxiety or the stress that you're feeling at this time. I feel like you're it's bottling up and I feel like you're keeping it inside. What's bad habits? Okay, so first of all, we got money issues here. Cash flow, large lump, lump sum of money. So I feel like you're spending too much money right now. I feel like you're spending too much money right now. And it's got to do with something in regards to January of this year. Um, New Year's. Maybe it was actually the New Year's Day. Maybe you spent a lot of money this new year as well that could just be in total from january to now you could have just been spending a, a lot of money okay stubborn is at the back at the back and mirroring is at the bottom so i feel like you may be looking at what other people are doing and you need to look more at what you need to be doing i mean pisces it's like I don't want to say that you're trying to keep up with the Joneses or anything like that, but I do feel like you deserve certain things in life, and that is no lie. And I feel like that desire or that that feeling, that knowledge that you deserve the best or that you deserve what you want is causing you to become irresponsible with your money. I feel like it's causing you to make poor decisions with your money. It's like you feel like you deserve something, so you want to get it. But we have to learn self-control. I feel like there's a need to learn self-control because you've been spending way too much money since the new year started. Okay, what's fate for my Pisces? What is fate? Okay, we have balance and desires. So yeah, you definitely need to balance out your desires. I feel like there's an, a need for self-control here. I feel like this is your fate. You're meant to learn this at this moment right now. 22, 11 on the clock. I feel like you're meant to, and I was talking about balance earlier with the material and spiritual prosperity. I do feel like you're going to have your bank accounts, you know, replenished or you're going to have more funds, more access to funds, more, more money readily available to you, but you, you're being, I feel like, okay, so what I really feel you guys is that y'all about to come into some money or y'all are about to come into some type of success here with this fate card. And I feel like your guides, your guardian angels, God, whoever you want to say, whoever you want to believe. I don't give a fuck. I believe in God, but I feel like basically you're being trained here to understand discretion, balance, patience, endurance. You know? You have to do this to be able to like embrace your fate or to be able to have the fate that is set out for you. Okay, obsession and thanksgiving. So I feel like maybe you were very fixated on having what you wanted or creating happy holidays for your family. That could have definitely been what this is. And that that's what could that's what this cuffing season could be about because Thanksgiving just came out. So I feel like you guys maybe were trying to make things right for your daughter, possibly if you have a daughter, even a son, multiple children, um, family members that you take care of, whatever it is. I feel like y'all spent a lot of money for the holidays um, because you wanted to, <clears throat> it's like you wanted to create good memories. You wanted to create a good experience for you and your family. Okay, but I do feel like you may have gone a little bit overboard. Okay, so in July, you definitely could be trying to get your money back together. You could be saving a lot, staying inside. What's daughter for my Pisces, please? Okay, so copycat and mirroring. So some of y'all who have a daughter is definitely looking up to you. They're definitely trying to be like you. They're watching everything you're doing. So that's even more ammunition to be very mindful of the type of messages you give out, the type of energy you put out. Because I'm just getting, whether you have a daughter or not, whether you have a daughter or a son, whether you have children or not, I feel like people are definitely watching you. I feel like people who look up to you because a child looks up to you. 
She's literally looking up on the card. So I feel like there are a lot of people who are looking up to you right now. Um, and I feel like they're mimicking you or they are trying to be like you. I don't even feel like this is a negative energy of copying or somebody stealing from you. I feel like this is an energy of you're an influencer. Okay. So I feel like people are looking up to you. Okay. Blackmail and new view. Someone could be getting blackmailed, seeing things from a higher perspective. So I feel like you are just realizing this, though. I feel like you're realizing that you are influencing people. You're realizing that you are important. You're realizing your fate, your destiny. You're realizing what you're meant to do. And I feel like you're very much so dedicated to continuing to have this new perspective. You're dedicated to being more positive and having a better outlook on your life because you're realizing how important that is purely off of the fact that you have a lot of people looking up to you. I don't know what you do, but you do something important. And a lot of people look up to you. Oh my God, my boobies. They're getting on my nerves. Okay, so I just want to pull a Kipper card to go with each of these just to get additional clarity. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for being here. So Pisces, I do have some announcements for you guys that are coming soon. That's why I said, be sure to check out the community tab. Be sure to look in the description box for any information that you may need. Because I am going to be announcing some things for you. There are things for my Pisces. Okay, so let's see. What is anxiety behind the scenes and cuffing season for my Pisces? Anxiety behind the scenes. and Oh, shoot. One flipped over already. Damn. So we have marriage and official person. Okay, so that's what I was getting about this you know, cuffing season before I, I was getting that you guys are a little bit stressed about a relationship or a past relationship. I do feel like this could have been a marriage that is leading to divorce or a relationship where you had children involved and you're having to go through some type of legal situation or mediation. I do feel that you guys are stressed about a decision being made. Maybe you're worried about what the judge is going to say. You may be stressed about someone bringing you information about this relationship, a decision that you have to make in regards to a contract. I feel like that's stretch stressing you out. Okay. Unexpected income is at the back and great fortune 26 and 27. So I feel like there's a sequence here and I feel like everything is going according to plan Pisces. So Whatever you're stressed about, I really don't feel like you need to be stressed because I feel like it's going to turn out in your favor. Great fortune and unexpected income. I do feel like things are going to turn out in your favor. I feel like you know this. You can feel this. But the whole situation, I, I feel like it's just taking a lot out of you. What's bad habits, New Year's and cash flow, please, for my Pisces? Bad habit, New Year, and cash flow. Oh, shit. All right, so we have mature woman and expectation. Yeah. So there's a feminine energy here who I feel like maybe is... I feel like there's a feminine energy here that's trying to influence you in some way. I feel that, especially if you guys have a mother that has passed on or a grandmother that has passed on, I feel as if this person has set a certain expectation in your life for you by the way that they raised you or the way that they taught you how to live. And for whatever reason, it's like I'm getting this message that somebody expects you to do better or somebody expects you to like have a fresh start. It's like 
This feminine energy is trying to help influence you to have a fresh start. This could also just be you becoming more mature. I don't care really if you're a man or a woman. It's so hard to separate things for all y'all because everybody complains about every fucking thing. Oh, it's not this. It's not that. So it's like you got to take it how you take it. But I do feel like there's a there's an older woman here. Maybe your grandmother, your mother, your aunt. Somebody who expects more out of you because they feel as if you've succumbed to bad habits. I feel like they, if they, especially if they passed on, honestly, I feel like they are like sending you messages or letting you know what you need to be doing. Okay, we have wealthy man at the bottom and house at the back. So... You could definitely be expecting some money to come in and that's why you've been spending money. But I, I'm i hearing the Kanye West song where he said, I have a problem with spending before I get it. We all self-conscious. I'm just the first to admit it. I think I channeled that before. And it's like, you may be spending your money before you get it because of some um, bad habit or codependency to money in some way or codependency to needing things to validate yourself. Um, I do feel like you're not like poor. You know what I'm saying? You're not in poverty. If you are on the lower si side of the income spectrum, I feel like you're able to take care of yourself. You're able to create a living for yourself. Yeah, because we have occupation here. But I feel like you may be living beyond your means a bit, Pisces, and you're you're either you're either needing to get a handle on that in July, or that's what you expect to do in July is to kind of save your money, which is what I was getting earlier. What is fate, balance, and desires? What is fate, balance, and desires for my Pisces? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe as well. So adjudication. Okay. So I feel like it's meant there there's a decision that is meant to be made. I feel like it's your fate to have some type of decision be made, okay? But I feel like you need to check your intentions. Like you need to check yourself, Pisces, when it comes to your intentions here in regards to your fate and what you want out of life. You need to make sure that your intentions are always pure. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm saying this is something that you need to be mindful of in July. You need to make make sure that your intentions are always pure. In terms of your decision making, I feel like you need to start making decisions about your fate. I feel like you need to start figuring out what you really want and choosing to go towards it. Okay. Gift and change. Yeah. So I feel like there could definitely be a court decision here. I feel like that's what you're worried about. Some type of determination or decision that's made by a judge or someone who's overseeing a situation. I feel like it's your fate to have balance when it comes to this situation. I don't see anything not going in your favor. I feel like what I see is that it's going to, whatever decision is made is going to balance out your life in a positive way, how it needs to be balanced. I do feel like you could be granted some type of severance, alimony, child support, or some type of ruling or justification judgment that allows you to maybe even move. Okay. You may be able to buy a house. You may be able to move. You may enter into a new tax bracket even or have a lot of money that's saved up from whatever this decision is. You could be going through mediation at this time. What's daughter copycat and mirroring? Great fortune and message. So I did, I do get this energy of some of you guys, like literally this is you thinking about being someone's daughter. I don't even care. You could be thinking about being someone's child, right? You could be thinking about your parents. I feel like you could be trying to maybe be like your parents, or you could be trying to emulate something that your parents have done. Or your, your child is trying to emulate you. I feel like, it, okay, so we got message and great fortune. I'm trying to figure out what this is saying. I do feel like, 
I f you guys are going to get some type of me because I know what I feel, but I'm trying to articulate it. First of all, I feel like some of y'all could get a message that you have some type of fortune or inheritance from your parents, right? But I feel like maybe there's stipulations in regards to this inheritance where you have to like be a certain be in a certain career or do a certain thing. I also feel like some of you guys could have had some type of inheritance or fortune that is coming to you from your parents. It's like you are emulating your parents or you have gifts that come from your parents. Some type of inheritance, some type of spiritual gifts, something that you are being given from past generations or this is something that you're giving to your children, a gift that you're giving to your children, um, creating a, a, a strong lineage here, a strong legacy. You, your child could come and tell you that they, like if you've been somebody who's been psychic your whole life, your child could come and tell you that they're seeing spirits or that they're seeing like, maybe your mother or your father or somebody maybe who's passed on. I feel like they could be telling you that they have acquired the same gifts as you, or they're talking to you about like weird dreams or things that they've experienced and they've acquired your gifts. Now, somebody could be trying to also act like they are you Pisces to obtain some type of fortune, inheritance or gifts that belong to you. We have bad health and mature man at the bottom in the back of the deck. So this could be even your father, okay, who's in bad health. Some of you guys could have a father that is on bed rest or who's in bad health conditions or who's just attached to this idea that Maybe you owe them something. I got mother energy here with the mature woman and I got father energy here. I feel like for some of you, y'all have y'all have a father figure who is really not that great of a father figure. I'm going to be honest. I feel like some of you guys have a father who feels entitled to your wealth, your gifts, or whatever bounty that you have obtained for yourself. Maybe your father is trying to attach himself to you. Because, you know, he may feel as if he's going to get some type of like reward from, from being close to you or something like that. You could be, your fate definitely could be bringing you into some type of financial abundance. I, we have great fortune. We have cash flow, which is definitely not necessarily in a good place right here. But I feel like you're you're needing to balance out your cash flow because money is about to come in. So I don't know. I just feel like either somebody's trying to steal your inheritance, your father's trying to to maybe you know be around you for the wrong reasons, or your child is inheriting your gifts. Or you're inheriting your parents' gifts. You're finding out. You're going to get a message, okay? Or your child is going to get a message. And it's going to be something that's like kind of... I feel like it's going to be shocking, but I feel like you're, it's going to make you happy. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Hmm. What's going on with my Pisces in July in regards to these situations? What are my Pisces going to be dealing with in the month of July, God? What are my Pisces going to be dealing with? Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's a burden here. There's stress here. There's anxiety for sure. What else are my Pisces dealing with? I feel like you're working a lot as well, Pisces. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles because you might have gotten a new job. Okay, I feel like you're definitely working a lot or you're working on your business. It's kind of like you're doing everything here by yourself. And then boom, I feel like you could definitely get some type of contract, um, some type of agreement here, 
Somebody could want you to be an ambassador or an endorser. Like you're getting some type of endorsement or um, donation or a sponsor of some kind. It could even be a new job or a new contract. Some money is being granted to you here, okay? Something substantial or something that you can actually like put your hands on. Taste, touch, feel, smell, something material. What else? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Okay, so there's an earth sign here. So an earth sign could be giving you this. Okay, so maybe there's an earth sign here who's deciding maybe that they want to work with you. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What else for my Pisces in July? What else for my Pisces in July? Oh, wow. Knight of Wands. All right, so I guess we got to move it over. I feel like you guys are going with the flow in July or you're needing to just go with the flow and chill. Like, just relax. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like work is taking off for you in July, Pisces. Feel like you could definitely be getting a new job. You could have been filling out a lot of applications or doing a lot of odd jobs recently. Okay, small contracts maybe, but I feel like something major is about to pay off. I do feel like you're getting some type of endorsement or someone is like shouting you out, shouting out your business, um, maybe donating to you. For some of you, this could just be a new job at a new company, and this is your boss. But I feel like things are definitely moving forward quickly. You're receiving some type of offer here in July. And I feel like it's in regards to work because you also have the Three of Pentacles here. But I feel like you're nervous about taking it. Nine of Wands. Okay, and if you count it, two of pentacles here, I feel like you're maybe juggling or going back and forth. I feel like maybe if you get this job, it could be that you're working two jobs or you're doing maybe a home business and an actual nine to five at the same time. Or you're going back and forth about whether or not you're going to accept this offer from this king of pentacles. This person may have been inconsistent or maybe this company was inconsistent in the past. And now all of a sudden they want to work with you or all of a sudden this person wants to give you some type of offer. But I feel like Pisces, I feel like you really don't trust it. Yeah, title card. So it's either somebody's offering you a relationship or somebody's offering you a job. And I feel like it's a title. I feel like it's a title that you may want. I heard covet. You may actually covet this title. You may desire this title. You may want this title, but. There's something about it that is fishy. There's something about it that you do not trust. You're very nervous about this new beginning. I feel like you're not sure if you're going to be happy here. But I feel like you definitely have something coming in. Somebody's either offering you a job, offering you a relationship, maybe wanting to apologize. Somebody's giving you a gift here. But for some reason, you don't trust this person. Okay, so let's see. Why is this... Why is Pisces in this energy in July? What is this offer, this gift, this job, this contract? What are all the things? Oh my God, y'all. It's got to be straight or else I'm going to have a heart attack. Okay. What? Okay. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What's this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, Empress Energy. So somebody wants to grow with you. I feel like somebody may want to start a business here together. Maybe partner up. What else is the Ace of Pentacles? What else is the Ace of Pentacles? The Strength card. So you got the Empress and the Strength card here. So Taurus Energy, Leo Energy, maybe Libra as well. Now, if you own a business, somebody could be offering to like grow your business, grow your followers, something like that. And it may look like a scam to you. Maybe it's somebody who wants to pay you to help grow, grow your network. 
I also feel like this could be a situation where I don't know. It's like somebody's trying to maybe kind of control your growth a little bit here. Mm. The Death Card and the Queen of Wands. Now, if this is a relationship, I feel like somebody could be offering you a relationship. Somebody could be saying they want to have a baby with you. Or maybe they want to grow with you. They want to, it doesn't have to necessarily be a baby, but I feel like they may want to grow with you. I feel like this is someone new. So I feel like they're offering you a relationship here. I feel like someone is like facing their fears. I feel like someone's realized how attracted they are to you. But I also feel like maybe your attraction for this person does not equal their attraction to you. What's the Empress in the Strength card? Y'all see I'm going real slow because I'm not rushing. And I feel like somebody may be trying to rush in and like give you some type of offer and you do not trust it in July. I feel like it's somebody trying to maybe rush you to do something. We have Six of Swords. Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. So yeah, I feel like somebody's offering you a relationship here. Somebody may even be offering to like move in with you or they want you to move in with them. Six of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Somebody could be offering their home to you or they're offering their office space to you. A building of some kind or some type of like office space. Some type of Maybe some type of like, party I wanted to say. I feel like, okay, so somebody could definitely be wanting to come over or they want to invite you to a party or something. Or somebody could be offering you their office space, like I said. Somebody wants to move forward with you, Pisces. I feel like this is a new person. I feel like they're offering you a relationship or they're offering you some type of business deal or job here. Like I said, some type of contract, but I don't feel like you trust it, okay? Five of Swords and the Temperance card is at the bottom, yeah. And the Ace of Cups, wow. I do feel like, Pisces, that somebody wants to fight for you here. I feel like somebody wants to fight for a relationship with you. I feel like they want to fight for the chance to partner up with you in business or whatever. But I also feel like you're going to look out for yourself here. I feel like you're going to stand up for yourself. You're going to stand your ground. You're definitely going to protect your heart, protect your investments, and I feel like you're going to take your time to weigh out your options here to see how you feel. Somebody, I feel like, is trying to rush you to make a decision. And I feel like if somebody tries to rush you to make a decision, that's going to cause you to, like, become even more introverted. What's the Six of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Four of Wands? Three of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. So here they are. I feel like somebody also wants to come over to your home. I feel like somebody is going to maybe tell you that they want to talk to you. They have something to tell you, something they want to discuss with you. So they're going to like offer to come over to your home or um, ask for you to come over to their home. But they're waiting. I feel like somebody's waiting on what you're going to decide here. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody, Three of Wands. I feel like somebody's waiting on... Like what you're going to decide, what your choice is, where your where your emotions lie, or what your desire is and how to move forward, what you're gonna give to the situation. What's the ten of wands though? Oh wow. Oh wow. Where did it go? Oh wow, it fell behind the counter. Ooh, the moon in reverse. What? So there's something that's coming out. There's something that's being illuminated here. 
I also feel like you're discovering that you have a lot more power than what you thought with this Ten of Wands and the Moon in Reverse. Feel like somebody's been draining your power from you for a long time, Pisces, or um, discouraging you, making you feel like you're not worthy or you're not worth it. And I feel like you're starting to realize how much strength you truly have. I feel like you're also starting to realize that you're at the end of a very stressful cycle in your life. I feel like you're finally realizing that you can put your burdens down. It could be because of this court situation or this legal situation that you're going through. I also feel like you could be a little stressed in July because you're finding out maybe secrets or secrets are coming out. Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. I feel like you're finding out maybe that you have a secret admirer and it's kind of stressful. What else is the Ten of Wands for my Pisces? Yeah, Eight of Cups. So yeah, you're you're definitely releasing burdens. I feel like you're definitely at the end of a very stressful cycle. Your burdens, you're laying them down pretty much. You're emotionally disconnecting from anything or anyone that has stressed you out in the past. And I feel like you're discovering your zen, like your zen place, okay? What's the moon in the eight of cups? Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. You're having good ideas, too. I feel like you're happy that something is over. You're happy that the secret's finally out. You're happy that um, you finally have clarity so that you can move on and be happy. Eight to the nine. Boom. And now, boom, there's a new idea or something that you're very passionate about. I feel like y'all could also be having sex in July. You could be getting some for the first time in a long time, maybe like eight or nine months, bro. Some of y'all even 10 months that y'all been doing it by yourself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we have, that's crazy because we have the Ten of Wands and then we have the Ace of Wands, which is the new beginning. So I definitely feel like there's something that you're really passionate about that you're starting here. You could be writing a book, writing music, okay, creating art projects. You're creating something artistic and creative. You're using your creativity. You're using the skills that you've gained. I feel like you're using a more um, rational emotion to create at this point. What's the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands? Well, first, what's the Nine of Cups? Give me one more. Ooh, Two of Cups. Okay. So I feel like somebody is talking to you here. I feel like somebody could be divulging some secrets to you. Maybe they're telling you why they walked away from you here and it's stressing you out as well. This Temperance card definitely could be a Sagittarius. So I feel like somebody could be coming to you and letting you know why they didn't talk to you for so long. Or maybe you're letting someone know why you didn't speak for a very long time or why you were quieter. Um, now, for some of you, I do feel like you could be a little stressed out, irritated or anxious because you're finding out that somebody wasn't talking to you for such a long time or somebody even ghosted you possibly, walked away from you because they were happy with somebody else. And that's it. Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody stopped dealing with you or you stopped dealing with them. For whatever reason, y'all stopped dealing with each other. But I do feel like it was a situation where somebody walked away from you. And I feel like you're finding out why they walked away. I feel like they they somebody walked away from you because they were going towards their wish fulfillment, what made them happy. A relationship, a new relationship, or somebody somebody else, period. Okay. What's the ace of wands and the two of cups? But I also feel yeah, the hermit card. I feel like somebody found someone new here. Okay. 
this could even be you letting somebody know you could be letting somebody know why you're walking away from them or why you're leaving them yeah five of pentacles ace of swords so that's definitely the truth okay so for some of you it can be different right it could have been somebody who walked away from you it could have been somebody you walked away from, or it could be a combination of fucking both of them where you walked away from somebody, but also you got walked away from, you know, whatever. Okay. I feel like everything is coming full circle here. I also feel like you could be finding out that somebody really like, I feel like needs you or like financially it's like, I feel like somebody needed you financially or you're finding out that somebody was only around you for like financial gain. Somebody could also be telling you that they're broke right now or that they don't have any money. What's the King of Pentacles though? What's this King of Pentacles doing? Yeah, Seven of Swords. Okay. All right. That's not a great way to start King of Pentacles. So this, this earth sign, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or whoever this King of Pentacles is, could be planning something. Okay, what else is the King of Pentacles? Wow. Eight of Wands, and it wanted to flip in the reverse. So somebody's not telling you about a plan. Somebody's strategizing. There's an earth sign here who's strategizing. They could definitely be being sneaky here. If you're in a marriage you could be finding out that, listen, I feel like this is kind of like, July is kind of like a situation where things from your past are coming to the light so that you can move forward into this new journey. So you could be finding out if you're going through a divorce, you could be finding out all the sordid details about your ex-husband or your ex-wife cheating on you, okay? Or all the lies, deceit, betrayal, okay? all the ways that they tried to sabotage you moving forward with the seven of swords and the eight of wands. I feel like a lot of shit is coming out, maybe even in court. Okay. But I feel like somebody's also strategizing here. I feel like you're going to find out with the queen of swords at the bottom and the four of pentacles that somebody was withholding money from you or stealing from you. Even what's the seven of swords and the eight of wands reverse. Yeah. It could be a Sagittarius. Feel like somebody literally stole from you. They cheated on you, deceived you some way, okay? And I feel like... I feel like they could even be trying to rationalize this here with you or why they didn't tell you, why it was a secret, why they lied, why they betrayed you. I just feel like you don't care, okay, Knight of Wands. I, I just feel like really you just do not fucking care. I feel like you're moving forward. Yeah, four of swords, king of swords. I feel like you already knew this. Okay, that's the five of swords. I feel like I feel like you are tired. I feel like you're tired because someone has been beating you down. Someone has literally been beating you down possibly, okay? Please call the domestic violence hotline. But I also feel like somebody has been like emotionally and spiritually beating you down feel like this could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, somebody who may have Earth in their chart, and Sagittarius. But I feel like this person has been honestly trying to kill you. I'm not even trying to be funny, but I feel like this person has been trying to kill you. Like, they've been trying to kill you because they've been trying to stress you out so much that you give up. Pretty much. The Five of Swords depicts people walking away, but in some decks, it depicts people, like, literally being dead on the ground. So, mm -mm -mm. what's this temperance card, please, for my Pisces? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Judgment. Oh, my God. Wow. What else is temperance? Stop. The lovers? What? Seven of Pentacles. The world card? I feel like you've been waiting for somebody to pay you. Like, honestly, I really do feel like this is a divorce situation where some you've been waiting to get payment, alimony, child support from somebody, or this is a situation at a job where you've been waiting for money. Like, 
that's missing out your motherfucking check and somebody's not trying to tell you what's going on, take it how it resonates, goddamn. Because you've been waiting on your money for a long time and I feel like the wait is over, okay? feel like the wait is over. I feel like this is a major decision that's being made. I feel like this is definitely a court case. I feel like or if it's not a court case, you're going before HR, you're going before a mediator, you're going before a judge, you're going before some goddamn body who's going to make a decision here with judgment, okay? I feel like a decision is going to be made. I, okay, Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you could also be deciding to start a new relationship with a Gemini or a Scorpio. You're. I feel like in July, you're going to find out what somebody's been doing, bro. Whether it's your employer, your ex-spouse, or I don't give a fuck who, but whoever you've been having like major turmoil and issues with for a long time, and there's been no resolution, you've been waiting on your money, you've been waiting on a return on your investment, I feel like that's about to happen. And you're going to have to choose how you move forward. It's like, you're going to have the decision to make about what you do with your life or what you do with this situation moving forward from here. Oh my God. Things definitely might fall apart here for a minute. If you are stagnant and you don't move. But I feel like you're moving here. So I don't think anything's going to fall apart on your end. This might be for somebody else. Okay, what's the Knight of Wands? Death card. Yeah, you're moving on. Boom. So you're definitely moving on quickly here. You're moving forward quickly. Feel like you're you're making fast changes or change is fast approaching. I also feel like you could be turning down someone for sex here. So somebody could be offering you sexual intercourse and then you turn it down with the hermit. It's like you know that this person I feel like somebody could be actually like offering you a relationship here or something like that. But I feel like when you further examine this person's offer or you're going to do a careful examination with this hermit card being at the bottom of the ace of wands and the two of cups. I feel like you're going to really be observing somebody's behavior, their conversation, their body language. When they make this offer, you're going to be very, very observant of this person's energy and what they're giving off. And I feel like you're going to realize that someone maybe never had your best interest at heart, along with all the other storylines. This is just an additional one. I feel like you could be turning somebody down for sex or telling somebody that you don't want to go out with them. What else is the Knight of Wands? This is another ace. Okay, five of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody's upset. I feel like you've, you're you're rapidly changing. And I feel like there's a little bit of anxiety, depression, and even guilt that's coming with this. But it's like you know your fate. It's like you know what you're meant to be doing. Five of wands at the back, star at the bottom. It's like you know you have to prepare yourself for whatever new journey is coming towards you. And I feel like anything that you used to do in the past, anything that it's like you're, you're, you're choosing not to dwell on situations that have kept you stuck or stagnant in the past. It's like you're deciding within yourself to move forward here. And it's because of all of the changes that you're going through in your life. It's because of the major transformations that are happening around you and in your world and through the universe for you. That's causing you to want to change your attitude quickly. What's the death card and the five of cups? It's like all of a sudden you you want to be appreciative here. Wow. Yeah, knight of swords. So I feel like somebody... Okay, what's this knight of swords? 
Wow, seven of pentacles. So somebody's angry that they're waiting here and I feel like they're waiting on you. What else is the Knight of Swords, please, for my Pisces? Knight of Cups, oh my gosh, and the Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands in one row. Yeah, so I feel like you're not moving here or you're moving rather slow to make a decision and somebody doesn't fucking like it. I feel like... I feel like you're literally telling somebody, I have to decide. It's going to, I need time. Somebody's like posing a plan to you, but I feel like they're not telling you everything. And you feel that, Pisces. Whether it's a contract for business, it's a job or a relationship. I feel like somebody's not telling you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I feel like intuitively with all these major arcanas coming on top of all these minor arcanas, I feel like you know this deep within your soul because of your intuition. I feel like because you're so adamant about having a fresh start, you're taking your time to make a choice to be with somebody, to work with somebody, to forgive somebody, whatever it is, you're taking your time doing this. And that's not like you. I feel like this person or whoever you're dealing with is used to dealing with the old you. Now, Knight of Pentacles is the only one missing. So now they don't realize that you're not going to jump on this. Like you're going to move slowly. You're not fucking around. And I feel like this is divinely guided. This is divine timing. I feel like you know what. You know what divine timing is. And I feel like you know what your destiny is. And I feel like you're not going to be swayed by a Vanessa fly dresser trying to impress her. Or a Vanessa fly dressing trying to impress him female. You know what I'm saying? I also feel like you've moved forward from certain feelings and emotions that have kept you stuck. I feel like you could be feeling a bit angry at yourself Pisces in the month of July for allowing so much time to be wasted on negative emotions, regrets, depression, anxiety. I feel like you are anxiously awaiting a change when it comes to those emotions. And I feel like you are discovering a way to handle your emotions and be more patient with the seven of pentacles um, moving forward. I feel like you're, you're learning how to be more patient in terms of time, divine timing, when things are supposed to happen. But I also feel like somebody is angry here. Yeah. Nine of swords plus the king of swords, 10 of swords. So I feel like you could definitely be shutting somebody down. I feel like you're putting an end to the stress that you feel in regards to someone who was on some ball head ho shit, like period. I feel like somebody who was on some ball head ho shit is going to come back finally now that you have all this peace, now that you've had a lot of balance obtained, now that you've made something out of yourself or made a name for yourself, somebody's coming back around to try to transform the relationship or say that they've changed. And it's like, they're still, but it's like, you still feel that they're going to have you in this five of cups energy where you're going to be dwelling on third party entanglements or, you know, you're going to be feeling angry. You're going to be feeling love bombed, gaslit. You're going to be waiting all the time. You're done with that. You're done with that. And I feel like, you know, with the king of swords, you know, your worth, you know, that you've been through this nine of swords already with this person. And I just feel like, ooh, four of pentacles and four of cups. You just don't want it. You, I feel like you just want to keep the sanity that you have obtained for yourself. And you don't want to go into a situation where you're going to be back thinking about third party fucking situations. I feel like you're going to go somebody. Like, I really feel like you're going to either... Um, ignore someone's advances or you're going to tell somebody that you just you're tired of dealing with them and that shit and you're not going to deal with it anymore 
Um, I feel like they are still going to try to work with you here. I feel like they may even beg, honestly. Three of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles? Queen of Wands. Yeah. I feel like someone could offer you maybe a gift or even they could offer you, I don't know, some type of like agreement in writing that they're not going to be selfish. I feel like somebody's going to offer you something to solidify your belief in them because I feel like you're what they want, Queen of Wands. What else is the Three of Pentacles? Ooh, the devil. Okay. All right, so Pisces, I feel like you're really attached to your work in July. I feel like you're not taking any off days. You're not taking any vacation. That may be something that you actually need to do. But I feel like you have a great idea that you've gotten here, okay? I feel like you've been working really hard and you receive some type of amazing idea in July or you begin a new project in July. You have several probably. Honestly, that's what I feel. And that's what your focus is. You're like nose to the to the grindstone. Is that what it's called? Is that that saying? Like you've got your nose to the grindstone. So it's like you're grinding here, but I feel like you could also be like doing a little too much. What's the Queen of Wands and the Devil card? The sun. Okay, so I feel like whatever you're doing for work, though, it really makes you happy. I feel like you could be being discovered as well with this devil card and the sun card. I feel like you could definitely be being discovered here, maybe by a Leo or a Capricorn. But I feel like you're being discovered by the masses. And I feel that it's a situation where you're about to blow up. Like people are really going to be clamoring to get your products, your services. Or they're going to be clamoring to hire you here. You're a very attractive candidate. You're a very attractive candidate. And I feel like you bring happiness to a lot of people's lives. And that's why they're so drawn to you. Like a moth to a flame. And I do feel like somebody really wants to work on things with you here. Because first of all, they're really attracted to you. They feel like you're very sexy. You're very attractive. But I also feel like there's this energy of codependency or it's like they need you in, in their life. Something like that. I feel like there have been a lot of people watching you. So you could like have a channel or your own Instagram or I don't know where else you could be seen. But wherever you could possibly be seen on TV, whatever. I feel like people are watching you. Wow. I feel like a major corporation is watching you with the Hierophant. I feel like there's a major corporation or your... Um, like the CEO of the company that you work for is watching you. Like, I feel like your boss could be over here bullshitting this, the King of Pentacles, but I feel like there's an even higher power that is overseeing or watching the overseer. I don't know what that means. There's an overseer overseeing the overseer. And I feel like whoever that highest power is, the CEO, the corporation, the business owner, Whoever that is has been watching your progress and I feel like they're very pleased. They're very happy with your work. I feel like they definitely don't want to lose you as an employee or they don't want to lose you as a possible client or a possible um, person who they want to make a contract with or something like that. I feel like a contract or some type of agreement is being posed to you here. And then, you know, maybe towards the end of the month, it's being signed. Especially if you're going through a divorce. I feel like the judge has made a determination and it's going to be signed. Like, I feel like somebody could even get really angry with you in court. And I feel like you're just sitting here maintaining your composure, keeping your cool, relaxed, calm, cool, collected on that ass, okay? And I feel like the judge is definitely paying attention to you here. So if this is a court situation, I feel like if somebody else blows up in court and you're against them, I feel like the judge is going to take notice of you being calm, cool, and collected and they're going to give you everything you fucking want. I feel like you're going to be so happy. What's the sun card? 
Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I know this ain't the four of swords. No, it's the two of swords. Yeah, because you get what you want. Two of swords. I feel like a decision is made to give you everything that you want in this in this situation. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of swords. The truth will be told. High fucking priestess, bro. I feel like they're determining in court that you are the truth teller, that you are more knowledgeable, that you are more mature, that you are more... I don't know. Whatever you are, you're all knowing, you're all seeing, you are the fucking truth, bro. You could definitely be someone who is, I just heard an occultist or someone who, not, not, a, not in a bad way, but someone who studies the occult, someone who studies, you know, magical knowledge. Okay. You could even read tarot, but you're, you're the fucking truth, bro. You're the truth, Pisces. I feel like someone sees you as all knowing, very mature, very wise. So that's why they're giving you what you want. Okay. And if this is not a court situation, I feel like maybe this is your boss's boss stepping in and giving you a promotion. Okay. Because you're the truth. You have knowledge. That's why you're getting this title or you're getting whatever this is. What else is the sun? You're getting exactly what you want. Yeah. Five of swords on that ass. You definitely won the fight. And I feel like somebody has to literally walk away with their tail between their legs. They have to bow out. Maybe this was like an auction. Somebody may have to bow out of the auction. What's the two of swords and the five of swords? Yeah, you get your plan is, look, seven of swords right here. So this could be your plan. You may even be the one enacting this plan and you've been being very patient with it for a long time. Wow, I'm seeing that. Because here's the seven of swords. Two plus five is seven over here with the sun card. So I feel like whatever plan that you had set in motion, you were very patient about it. I feel like you were divinely guided to have this strategy or this plan. And I feel like it got carried out and boom, nine of pentacles, clarifying the two of swords and the five of swords. Yeah, I feel like this is something definitely if you guys are going through a divorce, I feel like you're getting whatever you want. I feel like whatever you put into that documentation, whatever agreements or whatever um, financial things that you asked for, custody that you asked for, um, property that you asked for, god dang, you finna get that shit, nine of pentacles, you gonna be, shit. I feel like you was devilish with it, like you was literally cold as fucking ice with this. And I also feel like if somebody else has a plan that they're trying to set in motion with you, I feel like you already know the truth about who this person is. And I feel like you're tired. You're ready to move forward from this person, but they're not going to let up easily. They are not going to let up easily at all. Somebody wants what they want and they're going to fight for it because I feel like they're looking at you as this nine of pentacles. They're looking at you as the full package, you know, attractive, whether you're male or female, abundant, just everything that this person wants. But I feel like they're codependent. And I feel like you know that. Or I feel like they have toxic behaviors. Boom. And like I said, boom. High priestess at the bottom. You know that. Yeah. Queen of swords at the back. So I feel like you're cutting it out because you know what you know about what you know. Fuck the bullshit. You know what you know about what the hell you know. So, Pisces, I do want to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and use the deck, you know? So, I created this deck. I created an oracle deck. It's called WTF. What the fuck? Okay? I created this deck. It will be available soon for purchase. Okay? But... This is like the rough draft, okay? These are just cards that you can get from Amazon. Like just regular cardstock cards that are blank. 
I wrote my name on them, okay? And they're all different colors, you guys. And there are 80 cards. This is the deck. I know you guys can't really see it. But I'm going to do an unveiling when I get the actual, like, published deck. This is just my own personal rough draft. So, it will be available for purchase very soon. And I'm going to go ahead and unveil it during your reading, Pisces. This is a long reading. I feel like a lot of things for you, Pisces, have been a long time coming. And you are truly, truly deserving of all of the blessings that are coming to you. But you've had to understand how to be patient and have self-control so you can get these blessings, okay? So first ever use of the Nightcase Network's very own Oracle card deck, the What the Fuck deck, is going to be cuter than this. But this is the first ever, this is the unveiling, the first ever use of this deck. And I did not shuffle it. All the cards were in order. So I'm shuffling it really good and nice. Shuffling it really well. Now, if you do want to order this deck, what I will say... I, I probably can create like an invoice for you guys if you want to order this deck and then have it shipped to you because I don't actually have it like placed anywhere for sale yet, but I can actually, I, I mean, I can actually get you a deck shipped out, okay? But don't worry about all that yet. We're going to wait because it's not going to look like this. And I want you to see the final finished product. Okay. So what other messages does Pisces need to know for the month of July? What other messages do my Pisces need to know for July, God? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Our friends. And it kind of came out in the reverse. But number 29 our friends. So you could definitely have some, and nine plus two is 11. So you definitely could have some um, friendships or relationships with people who you call friends who are not really your friends. That's kind of what I'm getting here. I also feel like your friends and somebody else's friends who we're dealing with, because that's kind of how I made this card, our friends, is kind of saying like, your friends or someone else who you were dealing with friends got involved in a situation or you have mutual friends with someone and it's like they were kind of in the middle of a situation, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like you definitely could be separating yourself or removing your energy maybe from your friend circle in July I also feel like you could be finding out that some of your friends are not really your friends. What else does Pisces need to know for July, guy? What else does Pisces need to know? Oh, I thought something flipped over. What else does Pisces need to know for July? Oh, wow. Playing mind games. So somebody could be trying to move forward with you, but they're playing mind games. Okay. Number 47, that was number 69. Number 47, another 11, three weeks. Okay, so something is happening either with your friends. They, I feel like some of your friends could be playing mind games with you guys. And you're going to find out something in the next three weeks. I also feel like somebody who you were dealing with could be doing this as well. Set the date. Oh, my God. It didn't want to go back in the deck. So 69 and 78 both equal 
Well, six plus nine is 15. Seven plus eight is 15, which goes down to six plus, because five plus one is six. So I feel like, and then you have the six of swords right here. And that's kind of where this offer is coming from. I feel like someone definitely could be trying to move forward and they're very adamant about it. Two sixes. I feel like some you you either want something to move forward or someone is trying to move something forward with you, but they're playing fucking mind games. I feel like you can you can probably count on this person to come around within the next three weeks or so. Okay. Whether it's a friend or someone who you consider to be a friend or have considered to be a friend in the past or whether it's someone who you're dealing with. What else does Pisces need to know for July? I really like this reading, Pisces. It's super long. What else does Pisces need? Okay, 32, not so fast. So there's definitely going to be some conflict here. I feel like with 32 equaling five. I also feel like you need to prepare for something. I feel like you need to not move so fast. Or you're telling somebody, uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. What was that movie? Or it was a show or something where somebody was like, uh-uh-uh. Or it was like some recording. It's like they were trying to hack into something. And it was like, uh-uh-uh. So I feel like you could be telling somebody like, slow your roll, not so fast, okay? Calm down, okay, motherfucker. While somebody's trying to rush you. Somebody could even be trying to set a date. Like they could be, I, I, I wrote the set the date card in terms of like somebody wanting to go out on a date. Oh, wow. So three weeks to a month, the month card just came out. I'm going to put that up here because I really wasn't asking for anything. But I feel like someone could either maybe be trying to set like a, a date with you to take you out on a date or they could be actually proposing to you wanting to set a date, but they're playing mind games and they're moving too fast. Can I get one more card for my Pisces for July, please? Oh, wow. We have two. Okay, whatever. Stressed out. Another 11. The 48 is a number 11. The 29 is a number 11. Okay, 47 is an 11. And then we have 11 right here. Ain't that some shit? Then we got another six because we got the 60 card that says stay focused. So I feel like you're needing to, I feel like this could actually be a twin flame situation because you also have the four of wands coming out here. I feel like this could be someone who you consider to be your twin flame or this could be someone who feels rather connected to you. You feel connected to this person. But there are three sixes here and literally one, two, three, four elevens, a five along with it. So take that, take with that what you will. But the final card is stay focused. So you're needing to know that you need to stay focused because I feel like someone is going to be playing mind games with you in July, maybe trying to like fuck with your head in terms of dating you or fuck with your head and terms of pro proposing to you or proposing a job to you and this person is not really your friend i feel like there also could be some type of negative connotation in regards to your friends being involved either with this person and the games that they're playing knowing the games that they're playing or this could actually just be your friends that are not really your friends but i feel like within three weeks to a month Something is going to happen, okay? Because the day you're going to see this video is at the end of June. So by the end of July, I feel like this could actually be unfolding in your life. And you're going to have to like tell somebody to slow they fucking roll, okay? At the bottom, we have I'm afraid, okay? And at the back, we have extended vacation. Ooh. So extended vacation... It's interesting. You could actually be going on a vacation and you're extending it. You could be quitting your job or maybe you went on leave of absence and you're deciding to quit and you don't want to come back. So it's an extended vacation. Or. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, so some of y'all could just be taking a vacation at work and then you're deciding maybe to call out for a few extra days. 
Some of y'all could be going on leave or you may be on leave of absence and you just don't want to go back to work. So you're just going to quit. But I feel like you're afraid to do it. Or maybe you're afraid to take these vacation days because you just feel like you have to work. You're afraid to take a break. But I feel like you're needing to, you know. I feel like you're really needing to. Let's see. I know I've been on here for a long time. We're having a party, Pisces. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you like the new deck. Y'all better not try to copy me because it's copywritten, boo. <laughs> Don't try it. I'm just playing. Everybody copies everybody. So what needs to be said to my Pisces that people either can't, don't, or won't say? What needs to be said to my Pisces that people just ain't saying? I replay our conversations over and over. Ooh, yes. Bet. I bet they are. Uh -huh, bet you are. So somebody is like, I feel like feels guilty. Or they just feel like if somebody continues to replay your conversations over and over, I feel like it's an indication of guilt or an indication that they would like to change something. So what else? What else is needing to be said? I hope that you can forgive me one day. So somebody definitely wants forgiveness. Okay. What else for my Pisces? I wish I could take back my words. So that's why they're replaying the conversation. Because somebody says something sideways to you or somebody maybe maybe didn't tell you how they truly felt or they held back some way or maybe they told you a lie in regards to whatever the conversation was that you were having. Can I get one more for my Pisces, please? Can I get one more? It was my fault, but I blamed you. So somebody wants you to forgive them for blaming you in the situation there's a situation where maybe someone started an argument with you that's kind of what i'm getting here i feel like somebody started an argument with you pisces or there was a disagreement here and they probably blamed you in this disagreement or they acted as if it was your fault or that you were being over overly emotional or overreacting but they know that you were not doing those things but they made you out to feel that way so they basically gaslit you and now it's like they want, they hope that you can forgive them. They know that it was their fault and that's why they feel guilty because they keep replaying the conversation over and over again. At the bottom, I bury myself in work to forget you and at the back, so many things remind me of you. So no matter how much they try to get you off of their mind, they can't get you off of their mind. But I feel like it's it's an energy of this coming to completion, okay, in July. It's finally there's light, finally there's happiness, finally there's uh release, finally there's joy, okay? So let's see how you need to positively move forward. Pisces. In July, how do my Pisces need to positively move forward, God? What do my Pisces need to do to positively move forward for the month of July 2021? Adjustments are required. Wow, third quarter moon. So I definitely feel like with that defensiveness card for your shadow, I feel like y'all definitely need to keep your cool in July, especially if you're going through a court case because if the more cool and calm and collected that you keep yourself, the better the outcome is for you, period. So I feel like that's definitely what these adjustments are required is talking about. Um, and I also feel like adjustments are required in terms of your belief in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Oh, wow. Confidence is key to your success is at the bottom. New moon in Leo. That's exactly what I was saying. And don't let pride get in your way. Wow. Full moon in Leo. Woo. Okay, so I am going to do the angel answers last. 
So y'all go ahead and get your questions ready. Y'all know I read, I pull one card and then I read the bottom and the back of the deck. Pisces. Okay, what is the most accurate answer to my Pisces questions, God? What is the most accurate answer to my Pisces question? Take action. Oh my gosh, see? There's some type of action you need to take about something. Yeah, you're needing to either take some action about things within yourself or you're literally needing to take action on a task because I feel like you're going to get a lot of ideas in July and you definitely do not want to sit on those ideas, Pisces. Please do not. If you got to write them down, if you got to do one each day, like do that shit, bro. At the bottom a year from now, wow. I feel like whatever action that you take in July is going to pay off for you a year from now. And whatever action that you don't take is going to be something that you're thinking about a year from now. And at the back is no need to worry. So definitely having confidence in yourself. So Pisces, I love y'all. This reading has already been long enough. But for those of you who made it here to the end, congratulations. You have a lot of things, a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings to be thankful for and to look forward to in the coming months and weeks. So I definitely feel like you guys should be prepared for that. You should prepare your energy for that. You should open yourself up to expect to expecting and accepting all the abundance that God has for you. And I hope that you guys have everything you need. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today. Every day be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye, Pisces.